What is a single mundane action that you complete every day that affects every single other person on the planet? What is this bad habit that you complete locally, wherever that may be, that harms the world and all of its inhabitants globally? What is this totally unnecessary action that you take all too often that, over time, is putting a serious and easily avoidable dent in your wallet? The answer? The plastic water bottle. As Mark Twain once said, you know, whiskey is for sipping and water is for fighting. And there's going to be a lot of fighting about this before it's done. Americans alone consume 1,500 plastic water bottles every second. 1,500 bottles that cost thousands of times as much as tap water, 80% of which will end up sitting in a landfill, and all of which required substantial amounts of water and oil in their production. If you drink bottled water, you may say to yourself, but bottled water is cleaner and it tastes better. But is it? Does it? The answer is actually no. Bottled water is oftentimes actually less regulated than tap water. And in taste tests across the country, people consistently choose tap water over bottled water. Furthermore, bottled water is around 2,000 times more expensive than tap water. When thinking about how much bottled water is actually consumed in the United States, despite the fact that most Americans have access to clean drinking water, it poses the question of who doesn't have the luxury of access to clean water. The answer to that question is 780 million people. That's more than two and a half times more than the population of the United States. Yet, in the United States, in a single week, people here buy more than half a billion plastic water bottles. That's enough to circle the globe more than five times. So there must be some rational explanation as to why so many people in the United States who are fortunate enough to have access to clean drinking water from their taps choose to purchase bottled water instead, right? Wrong. The culprit for convincing people to purchase an unnecessary, less tasty, less sustainable, and more expensive product bottled water companies. These companies have successfully manufactured a demand for a product that had never before had one and still doesn't need one. How did they do this? These bottled water companies scared people into believing that tap water was unsafe so that people would feel as though bottled water was the only option. One company, Fiji Water, did this with a marketing campaign that targeted Cleveland's tap water as being inferior. Yet, when the city of Cleveland did some tests to compare their tap water to the Fiji water, they found that a glass of Fiji water is actually lower quality, loses taste tests, and costs thousands of times more than their tap. In addition, these companies have enticed us with the idea that their tap water comes from pristine springs, as their labels would suggest. Yet, one third of bottled water actually comes from the tap. So, I said before that plastic water bottles affect everyone, everywhere. How, do you ask? Well, every year, in the production of plastic water bottles in the US alone, enough oil is to use to fuel a million cars. This oil, when burned, releases greenhouse gases that rise to the atmosphere, where they act as a sort of blanket to keep heat in, augmenting climate change. In turn, tragic consequences ensue, some of which include ice caps melting, sea levels rising, and an increase in extreme weather, all of which directly affect people everywhere. In addition, when plastic water bottles are thrown away, they are either burned and release toxic chemicals or sit in a landfill for thousands of years. Plastic water bottles are made of PET plastics, which instead of decomposing, actually absorb toxins, then taint water on the earth, contaminate soil, and make both animals and humans sick. You might be saying to yourself, but I recycle, so none of this applies to me, right? Not exactly. First, recycling only takes care of one end of the life cycle of a plastic water bottle. It doesn't do anything to combat the resources used and greenhouse gases emitted in the production of plastic water bottles. Second, only 20% of bottled water actually gets recycled most of which is then shipped across the globe using more fuel, thus further contributing to climate change. 
And when they get to their faraway destinations, most plastic water bottles are not actually recycled, but downcycled. This means that the bottles are slated to being created into lower quality products that would later end up in a landfill anyways. But the news about plastic water bottles is not all bad. In fact, it's great. How could that be, you ask? Well, because the solution to all of the negative consequences induced by the consumption of plastic water bottles is easily avoided. All you have to do is swap out your purchasing of plastic water bottles for a single reusable one. Even if you don't care about the environment or the people in it, then I still pose the question. Why would you want to drink water that is thousands of times more expensive and tastes worse? With all of this in mind, I strongly urge you to make a commitment to say no to plastic bottled water unless the water in your community is truly unhealthy. And I urge you to purchase a reusable plastic water bottle to take with you when you would like water and to encourage your friends, family, and anyone you know to do the same. So you might be asking yourself, what else can you do to actively combat the needless and detrimental plastic water bottle? Well. You can start or join a campaign in your area working towards solutions that will truly put an end to the plastic water bottle for those who do not need it. Tap water is underfunded in the U.S. by $24 billion, and cities spend millions dealing with the waste of all of the plastic water bottles we throw away. Wouldn't it be awesome if instead this money was used to improve water systems and prevent pollution? Thus, you should encourage your politicians to bring back drinking fountains and you can work to ban the purchase of plastic water bottles in your school or organization. In order to spread awareness, you can also host a screening in your community of TAP, a movie that reveals the downside of plastic water bottles. And in the Pittsburgh area, we lack any organizations working towards these goals. So if you're feeling extra ambitious, start one. Thank you for listening, and I hope that with all the new information you've learned, you say no to plastic water bottles.